Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about control files and temp files. So, this is what is an Oracle abstract picture of a Oracle server, which consists of instances and a file system. And a file system is consists of multiple different types of file. And in this in this video, we are going to discuss about these two types of file called temp file and control. So these two files we are going to discuss in uh, in the current uh, videos. So first thing that we're going to discuss is control file. Control file. So essentially, control file is the file which tells the Oracle database is that where your data files and redo log files are are, are there. Right. So essentially, this this suggests this tells the database the location of database file and and uh, redo file. So so what happens here? This is the way that it works. So whenever we are going to start a database, we say start up, and then we give sub p file is equal to some init dot ora. Right. So in that init dot ora, the in the parameter file, we're going to t going to uh, point to the location where the control file is. Okay, so basically, parameter file tells where is your control file, and then this control file is going to tell where is your data files and redo log files. Okay, so that is how. Oracle database is going to know which data files and which redo log files is going to going to be open. All right. So, so when so and this is you know required you know in, in the startup and this is one of the most important file and it's also the smallest you know size of the file that you can see in a database. All right. So, control file is going to contain a couple of things and those are. The first thing is called the database name, okay. and second thing the control file is going to contain is names and location of DB files and redo files. Okay, and then the number three is going to contain about current log sequence number and any you know when the database is created db creation time and number 5 is about checkpoint information so you may not be aware of this two things right now so don't worry about this we are going to explain whenever we are going to discuss about checkpointing and a log switch so that is the time we are going to discuss about point 3 and point 5 but control file will contain these five essentially these five information control file is a binary file we cannot read but oracle can read it so with this let's take a look how it's going to be look like in a real system so here is my uh, Oracle database, and this is where my init parameters are located. So let's first take a look at my init parameter init exe.ora. So look at this in the, in the init init parameter file. I have a parameter called control files is equal to something like this. Okay, that means it suggests my control file is located at this directory and the file name is control.dbf so let's try to go on and check what is there so if I just want to do a vi on this thing I'm going to see some junk characters and then also some strings and all right because this is a binary file and we cannot read it but Oracle database can read it all right however if you do a string so that we can get the parameter you know just just make an you know like just to see like you know what kind of things are available in the strings format so it looks like these are the strings and looks like these are the files so as I told you in the last videos 
our data file is something like ora data xe and this is a data file so essentially what this control file interns contain all your location of data file and also the the, the, the name because my system data file is name is system and then maybe the data file is something called system.dbf like this one is the data file okay but it will contain what is the like you know the, the data file all right and then something some some other things so we are not really that interested in those things so just to this thing just to show that yes we can find out we can figure out by just looking at a control file what are my data files are uh, another important thing is this control file is a very important file and if you lose control file then you do not know where is the data files you know you do not really know like you know where is the redo log files and all those things in that case database will not going to start right because when when you are going to start the instance the instance startup time you need to know what are the data files what are the redo log files right and who is going to give you control file is going to give you that information and for whatever reason control file is not there then you are in trouble you cannot open the data files hence database is not going to start up to avoid that we always multiplex we always multiplex control file that means we always keep a cop a multiple copies of control file and that too we always keep them in different disk right so for example i have in in my in in my current example i don't have any multiplex system right i just have only like you know, if you if you take a look at the, just one bi init xe dot ora so here i just have one control file but this is as i told you this is just a test environment i don't care if this you know this database is gone i'm going to restart i can i can reinstall again okay because i don't really care about the data files i don't really care about the data database this, this database however when in your production system where you do care about your data you do care about your database you don't want to basically lose your control files ever so what happens if tomorrow this control file is lost or the file where you know where where this you know the disk where this file is exist is going to crashed so in that case i can't really start my database again so to avoid that we always multiplex control file that means we have control 1.dbf and that control 1.dbf may be in one disk so let's say this is disk 1 then what i'm going to do i'm going to create control 2.dbf control 2.dbf and this is going to be stored in disk 2 so maybe like a lot of times i have seen in production system they have they put control file in three different uh, places if you want to do that then your init.ora parameter you just give all those locations by doing so oracle is going to write all this information to the to those all three control files and also what is going to happen that if for whatever reason this is gone then we can always recover this disk that means now like let's say this disk is crashed forever then we can buy a new disk and configure that disk to work with that computer or to the, with that server and then we copy this control 2.dbf which is exactly replica of control 1.dbf to this disk and get the start get get the database going so that is that means multiplexing of control file is must and this is what is a general practice that is followed across the production system so this is all about control file uh, just like you know it's this important file but not really a lot of things to talk about and the last one uh, the next thing that we are going to discuss in this video is called temp file so temp files are something let's say uh, we want to uh, do a sorting right so let's say you give that uh, uh, you know you know your select your sql statement where you do select star from emp select star from emp say order by employee name so in that case what happens is that we are going to get the data from the database from the data file and then we will sort the order in the memory okay so instead of sorting those things in the memory or if you know if the select star from emp is going to give us a huge amount of data then 
it's not a good idea to sort those things in our RAM or uh, in our SGA. Instead of that, what we can do, we can sort, we can write those things to a file called a temporary file and we can use that temporary file to sort the results. And that is, so that is, that is the use of temporary file. What we can do, we can always create a temporary table space and which will be attached to a temporary file and then any sorting anything like this operation is going to be always done on that temporary table space that means on that temp file. The important difference of temp file and data file is this that Oracle manages them different way. If a operation is associated with a temp file then Oracle is not going to generate any redo information for that because the temp you know whatever you know the only the, the purpose of a redo log file is to protect against any failure right but temp file is something that we don't really need to protect it because we can always write we can always give another select statement with order by we'll always use a temp file okay so that is the reason why we do not why oracle does not redo you know does not protect a temp file by using the redo mechanism and and always make sure that when, let's say you create a table t and do not create a table on table space temp table space temp will have this temporary uh, file te temporary data file right so if you use you know if you create a table t with a temporary table space then that table t is in a risk of not able to recoverable not able to recoverable because the table t because the temp table space is or temp files are never protected by redo so just make sure that you never create any production based you know you never create any real table on a temporary file